A multi-million dollar project aimed at providing electricity could hinge on the wings of bats. OPPD and the Kansas City Power Light District are teaming up to build a 180-mile transmission line. And Dave Zawalinski is on this story. One hurdle is to protect a species of bats. You're looking for trees that would provide a suitable roosting habitat. In the early morning hours, these scientists are looking for bats. It's a necessary step before OPPD can provide more electricity to areas south of the metro. We want to make sure that we have all the proper permits in hand prior to construction so that we're safe and we're meeting all the regulatory requirements. That includes protecting wetlands and endangered species. The northern long-eared bat is not on the endangered list, but soon will be. They're currently being decimated by disease. We're doing multiple steps to make sure that we don't endanger them any more than they already are. The Midwest Transmission Project is a 180 mile run from Nebraska City to Sibley, Missouri. Months of study is required by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service before the project can move forward. Bats roost in woody trees, so determining their movement was necessary. We did find a lot of bats. We actually did find two northern long-eared bats right by our Nebraska City station. GPS tracking disclosed their roosting patterns. We needed to find out their homing range and where they were living, and we ended up finding out that one of the bats was actually living in Iowa. An important discovery since the power line will cross the Missouri River. It seems like a lot of trouble for just a few bats, but they have value. Remember that on a mosquito infested evening. We are making efforts to make sure that we are abiding by the regulations as well as protecting the environment. With producer Roger Hammer, Dave Zawalinski, WOWT 6 News. The bat study lasted from May through August. Patrick Finnegan says if there have to be some route changes, it could come up, cost the uh, company millions of dollars. OPPD hopes to have that line finished by 2017.